because your leverage, you need a load of pressure, then you need to release the pressure as your leverage overcomes the length. Like, this, is where, this is where we can't put numbers to it. Oh, I want to put numbers to it. You don't want to put numbers to it. We have got a twist on it now, haven't we? Yeah, you have. And you didn't correct. mean to add that though, did you? Welcome to another video. Right, in this video, it's not tunneling. It's something a little bit different. If you look here, I am making a machine um, to make this tubular handrail on a spiral staircase. So that's what the video is about, making the machine and trying to get it to twist and bend, which is a big job. <laughs> So the first job is we're going to make these wheels for the tube to go run around to the rollers. So I have to use whatever machines I've got to make it. I didn't want to bore machine it out one big block of metal. So this is what I've come up with. Using two halves of tube, weld them together to make a ring. Plasma cut the centre here. And then I'm making a hole here in the sheet to know where the centre of that is. Fasten the hub in that in that hole I've just cut so it's datumed. I managed to cut this out halfway around the tube using the swift cut. This came out really. It, it, it did. You do have to cut the two halves separately and spin it over. But now we're cutting the main body out. As you can see here. Fasten it together. So this is an old axle off one of the Tornado Rookies. Uh, I've cut it in half and used the two stub axe lens. So we're just making the top that slides up and down. I just made this bolt that goes through the middle on a stub axle. Like so. We're just cutting this cog out to use the chain drive of the motor to the hub. This is it, fitting the chain on. So the same motor is used on the Tornado Rookies. And this is all the same, exactly how it goes together with the same adjustment method, tensioning the, the chain like that. Now obviously we wire it all up. The 36 volt motor, so you need to run a speed controller to wire it up. So to connect the seven wires up to the motor and there's some positive negative and the throttle and done that. And then here we are, we're cutting more bits out of the wheels here. These are the outer bits for the wheels to so stick on the edge of the rim up. Checking the motor function here. And using the motor to spin it down as I weld it. So that worked quite well. Right, that's it. We're about ready for the test run. So hopefully this will work, eh? This should wind onto there. I need a new, longer bolt for that. Oh, she's going a little bit, right? So that's, that's a bit, that's giving it a bit, right? Will it work or not? I need to make this bolt push directly on the center of that see how the jack extends and it's double extender luckily the jack was actually the same travel as a slide that was completely by luck but anyway here's a new gear set up so the the chain's going to go on there there's the jack in position it's the hole there for that little bit to go in and then the jack rests on them bits there we're cutting the extra cogs out now to get this double reduction on the drive to give it a bit more power because it just was, hadn't got the grunt before. So I've tacked the outer cog on, the, the inner one's not set up yet. So I need to get the hub on and it's going to go up here. With the two sets of chains on and different gears, this is much better speed and, and much torquier. So this is it ready for the first test run here, which it's just not firing the tube out the end like it was before, it was way better. I've had to put an extra support in as I was doing it because it started to bend the bracket around that stub axle a little bit in the middle, but I just tied that on and it seems to work really well. As you can see, it's, that's, that's roll cage tube, worked really well. Pushing that way, yeah. What, what, this like this? Yes, go on. Go on. It's going to be easy for the long lap, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's working. Go on, yeah, go on. I 
our plan was to try and twist it straight away before we started, but we thought that'd be easy, but it actually twisted it way too much. So as soon as you've got the twist in at this degree, you can't get it back out. That's the problem. And this is the second, we hadn't brought two lamps with me that day. So this, you can see it's just got too much twist in it. So we had, had to call it a day, go back and work out a little bit of a different plan. Yeah, go on. That's it. So you're putting no twist on at all at that? No. Keeping that dead square? Opposite plan the last time, yeah? Can you try to twist the wrong way slightly? Push it out back, back, that's it. Not too much. Try to twist it straight away last time. So then, <laughs> what would the minimum you'd be shitting your sandwich on that? But like half a million, you wouldn't go out. But then you, you told me your daft numbers like 0. 0.7 before, I guess. 0.6, 0.7. No, I, 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 I got one, one million lit to one and a half on the exhaust, usual medium. I mean, I've heard a lot say that we're four one stuff, but down to bloody 20,000 on the inlets, but you'd be totally the fucking tiger, aren't you? Yeah, but I mean, it's not like you're getting it all the time. It's not like you're getting it all the So we're going to get all of the the bend done in one, and then do the twist in a, in what, and then do the twist in what a couple of passes. Yeah. Have you are you sure you've got a plan of attack worked out? That's exactly what you just said. Oh, oh yeah, that thing. On. You know when the diaphragm spring? Yes, yeah. Can you put that, can you put that on when it when it when it comes in? Or, when the camera? No, no, you got to put it. Well, you may be cut. You may be cut. Oh, man, it doesn't matter because the whole, the whole lot will turn on the end then before you tighten it up anyway, doesn't it? What do you mean? Well, if, if that's going to move without, without that dowling, so it doesn't matter. We can put all that bit together, can't we? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yeah, but the problem I thought was I need to like, get a socket and cut sort of half of the socket out in stages so you could get in and press over the bevel wash over the diaphragm spring oh, to get yeah. the circle pin but it's just how you're going to get circle pin oh yeah it's going to be with some bend on there dave billings yeah yeah on it yeah we've got my low center angle man here <laughs> oh shit, that's looking at me that's looking at you now <laughs> all right lucky good dave all right sound well Right, what, what are you putting on it? Two, two dads. Right, we, be, we better measure this one. Uh, it's nowhere near, yeah. Because you said 54. Oh, it might be. 54. You've got 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 you
this this is it. We got to the point where we were on the final pass. We've managed to get a twist in it by Ollie pulling and twisting it. We didn't use the variable pitch pulley we were going to use, but anyway, it ended up successful. I couldn't show you it in that side of the house, so it's not my house, but I hope you liked it. See you on the next video. Thank you.